The House of Representatives has called for the resignation of service chiefs. This was part of the resolutions passed by the House at plenary on Wednesday following a unanimous adoption of a motion moved by the Chief Whip, Mohammed Mongunu, on the continued attacks by Boko Haram insurgents and communities in the Northeast. The lawmakers therefore resolved to call on all the service chiefs to resign immediately or get sacked by the president. Now joining us for a conversation on this is Barrister Jimmy Abia. Thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure being with you. What's your take on the call? Well, um, I think the call is overdue. Um, if you appoint people to offices and you expect them to perform to a certain standard. I mean, there should be performance indicators. Now the question is, since uh, having appointed these persons into office, how much have they done to tackle the security challenges in the country? Now, we're not just talking about um, the, the general security. Of course, you, you know that um, civil uh, security within the civil space is the job of the police, which is not part of uh, the armed forces, is, is not part of this um, service chiefs we're talking about. But when we're talking about the service chiefs you know, within the military, you'll be talking about the issues which they are meant to tackle, which, because of course they have been involved in the Boko Haram in fighting insurgency in the in the northeast, and you we do, we have not. Of course, uh, at, at a point we saw some progress, but it still returned back to where we were in the past. So you expect that. Uh, people who have been given uh, jobs, if they do not perform, I mean, they should uh, be calling it quits with the position or they should be made uh, to, uh, you know, give way for other pe persons. Um, what message do you think this is sending to the president and will he take it seriously? Of course, um, the message being sent to the president is that... Um, uh, Nigerians are seriously worried because I, I expect that uh, for this call to have come out, of course, the, the legislators who are the representatives of the people of Nigeria must have felt uh, the pulse of the nation and known that, of course, the Nigerians are seriously worried about these security challenges and uh, that these issues can no longer, that Nigerians can no, cannot take it for much longer. And it is sending uh, uh, this message is sending that uh, of course is sending that uh, of course what the, has, the National Assembly has stated now has is sent that message to the president to know that, of course, Nigerians uh, uh, have got it to that point where they can no longer uh, take it. Nigerians are saying that, of course, something has to do, be done about the security challenges in the country. Uh, let's look at the um, earlier uh, postulation in the uh, media, social media precisely, that this night assembly uh, could be a rubber stamp of the executive, uh, considering the statements that they've made that they're not here to fight the executive with this latest move. Could there be a shift in perception, do you think? I am not sure that this uh, latest move has done anything, uh, it, whether to um, show that the National Assembly has uh, drifted from that uh, position, uh, from, that, from that suspicion of the public, because it's just suspicion, you know, that, um, of course, that the, the, this National Assembly is a rubber stamp, you know, of the, of the executive. Of course, I, I do not see whether, first of all, the question of whether it is true that this particular National Assembly, of course, that question would have to be answered before you factor in the, the other one, whether the National Assembly has drifted away from that other position. So I, I do not think um, this particular call, I think this call simply, um, you know, expresses the, the angst, the, 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 the feelings of Nigerians about the security uh, challenges. I do not want to see it in terms, in the, in the light of politics, or politicking. I, I think it's just something that everybody, you know, can see within the country that is happening uh, with, in, in the country. And um, it, it calls for if, uh, whether opposition 
or uh, people uh, in the ruling party, you know, to come together and find a solution to the security challenges uh, we are having in, in this country. If, if the National Assembly has to be, now I, I am saying this with all sense of responsibility, that if the National Assembly has to be a rubber stamp to achieve, um, you know, security, to achieve uh, better protection, because what is the job of a government? The job, of, the job of government is for peace, order, and good governance, and it's for security of lives and properties of citizens. So if, if the government cannot render this, then the, the government has uh, would have failed in its role. So if the opposition and the ruling party will come together to achieve this, I do not see anything wrong with that. And of course, if they also have to oppose the government, oppose the, 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 the policies of, uh, of government, the, the, of course, the, the trend that the government is going in order to achieve this, of course, there shouldn't be also anything wrong with that. Now, before I let you go, I'll ask you this question. Is changing the service chief, considering the security situation that we have now, these are men who are vast in, you know, some of the intricacies that has to do with intelligence um, as regards uh, the security situation in this country, will changing them be of more effect for the fight against um, insecurity in this country? Yes, it will be. It, it, it will be of more effect. But that is if the right persons are also brought in. Um, do we have it, it, the right it, persons? Of course. I, our security, uh, uh, the men, uh, the, the men and women within uh, the, the, you know, the, 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 the security apparatus of the country, within uh, the various, uh, um, you know, services that we have in the country, uh, there, there are capable people who can actually uh, render good service to this country. And um, if they are put in the right positions, I believe that they would do they will pre perform creditably. I expect that if if the president, you know, hits this call to uh, show these people the way out, I expect that the president will bring people who have the capacity, people who can render the uh, service that is urgently needed in this country to tackle the security challenges which we are facing in the country. Thank you very much for My coming on the news. You. Yeah.